Gee, Brian, thanks for asking Ariel's dog Lucy if she was ready to record. <laughs> I, that, was, that was me. <laughs> I, I know I do a very convincing Brian voice. My my dog voice <laughs> sounds almost exactly like Brian. Austin, not gonna lie, I almost punched my monitor. <laughs> out of frustration. Well, we, we got two more, but we got two more battalion wars parts to record today. I got two more things I need to come up with. So I'm just gonna put my <laughs> headset down and figure and write some stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. Greetings, esteemed viewers. Welcome back to Battalion Wars. Six. Uh, six, six. Yeah. Six. This, oh, yeah. This is, to uh, um, some people who watched the last part might be wondering what it was I was saying at the end of the last part. Because I instinctively just stopped recording <laughs> instead of finishing the conversation. And uh, you're not getting an answer. <laughs> Sucks to be uh, you. We wouldn't expect anything less. I mean, they'll get an answer when we actually record it in like four months. Uh, no, not if I re record it because it was 30 FPS when I wanted it to be 60. <laughs> I mean. Gotta, gotta put that Pixel Comm Squad quality in there, Ariel. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Okay, so this level objective is just to capture a point and then hold it for five minutes. That's literally the point. And we have three tanks and an anti-air vehicle, and it's a good time! But we are working now with the Russians, so we, we gotta not ha have them not die. If they die, then we lose for some reason. I don't, I don't think we need them, personally. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> You're working with the Russians, and if they die, you lose. Yep. But the Russians didn't care. I mean, yeah, the Russians themselves cared, but the generals didn't care. The government no. didn't care. We've already discussed <laughs> them not sending soldiers in the battle without I mean, weapons. Do you rub And my belief Stalin? that Stalin would have ordered them <laughs> to swim across the ocean if he thought it would be, you know, amusing or helpful. <laughs> do you think they care, Brian? <laughs> well, okay, um, uh, Marshall Nober, uh, as, uh, what's her face? What's her name? Callie? No, uh, Beatrice? Becky? Who is, who is the girl? The girl, Cheryl, with the- On your team? With the baton, yeah. I don't know. I don't Token. <laughs> token. <laughs> yeah, Token. She's the token. I'm pretty sure he's just making that up. She's oh, right, I get it. <laughs> Token female. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, I was just thinking of South Park and getting confused. Well, well, that's also the joke with South Park. Yeah, and you know what? Now that you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> you never got that? No. <laughs> oh, my God. The whole world makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh, the well, only okay. black character in that show besides Chef. Who's Wait, hold dead. it. Hold it. His name is Token? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait. Oh my. What did you I, think I, it was? I don't watch South Park, so I didn't exactly know what you were talking about until just now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and well, and actually, there is another black character now, and it's a girl. Well, yeah, but they di didn't they do that just to make a joke with Token that he could only hook up with black girls? <laughs> I believe there was a joke <laughs> to that extent. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I was reading that Butters was actually based on someone they worked with, and it originally was a, um, less than, um, friendly interpretation of this person. Oh. <laughs> then Butters became a breakout character. <laughs> yeah. And, and now the guy he's based on is Butters like, is okay. Butters is my favorite character because of how fucking stupidly innocent he is. Yeah. <laughs> he, it's, he's definitely endearing. I feel like the show needs something like that. <laughs> yep. Well, I don't know. If they have a character like Cartman, they kind of need something. Yeah. <laughs> the offset. You know, the more I watch this, the more I just want to go play Halo. 
<laughs> I, haven't fe- I haven't felt this in years, Brian. <laughs> well, you're, you're well, because you the, the relationship. Mostly because, mostly because the Master Chief Collection is garbage. <laughs> like, holy shit. Brian, you're a miracle worker. I know. I, like, okay, two years ago, I, I got that. And me and my friend were going to do co-op campaign on that over uh, Xbox Live. And holy shit, we had to fucking... We, it took us 20 tries before the game would connect. It would load the entire thing, and then it would just drop us out, and we'd have to re regroup in the matchmaking lobby and start it up again. Why? I don't know. It's campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Do they have like a toaster acting as their server? Like, <laughs> you know what? With that, probably. <laughs> I don't even know why you would need a server for campaign. Just to have it be a host dedicated server. Yeah, like if it, if it's if it's just you know. And you know what? It probably is. That that game's just probably that bad. <laughs> like, I don't Online in the Master Chief Collection is fucking just terrible, which sucks because it has Halo Three, and I love Halo Three, but. I'm not playing that on. I'm not playing that on the Master Chief Collection. Imagine how boring this level would be if it was 24 hours. I mean, yeah. <laughs> then we then we'd just be sitting here for 23 hours and 55 minutes, and then guarding this place for five minutes, and then leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't you really lose get, at the like, last what, like five seconds. Where, I don't, I don't get where the challenge is supposed to come from here. I think they're trying to create tension, but this is me just leaving all of my men right here. And then people come and they shoot at them. And that's it. That's all we're doing. And I take care of most of it because um, I, can, I can defeat most tanks just by shooting, then sl- moving slightly forward. And then shooting again, and then moving that's slightly mo- back. Brian, that's most tank battles in e- <laughs> most games. Right! You 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 think the AI they 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 program the AI to you know be able to deal with that a little bit better to give me some thrills? But <laughs> actually, now that I think about it, I think the only game I've ever played that made it so you couldn't just go back and forth with a tank to survive is Call of Duty World at War, which is <laughs> surprising to say. A little bit. I'm surprised. Because those tank battles are fucking hard on the harder difficulties. It's also the only Call of Duty game with vehicles. The Kaiser's T-Copters! Yep. I thought you said He's T-Cups. Out. I was like, what? <laughs> yes, <laughs> it actually, over? it turns out all of the Kaiser and Vlad and Commander and stuff like that that made the vaguely rush German, um, they were actually just British. I knew it! <laughs> I knew there was a reason one of them was playing chess earlier. <laughs> yeah. But I couldn't put my finger on it. <laughs> it explains everything. Well, I mean, it, it's a video game, Brian. That doesn't, You wouldn't be able to put your finger on it. That's stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> and we are back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> oh, good. I was getting worried there. No way we're still here. Got a man. You know what? You know what? Actually, just because I want to talk about this, because I like shitting on things. Um, hm. uh, I recently, recently played the demo for Halo Wars 2. Well, not demo, the beta. And uh, the fucking every vehicle in that Ouch. game, it's like they started designing them, and they didn't know when to stop. <laughs> they just. <laughs> They just kept throwing armor onto the things. In fact, I'm gonna just look up a picture and I'm gonna have you. Okay, edit hang, it. hang on, hang on. <laughs> that is the most Russian thing I've seen in this entire game. You're all expendable. Pour in and attack, and eventually we'll win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who said that? Was that? Was that, that was. Uh, it was one of the vampires. Yep, man, that would do it. That's. You uh, know the Rush Germans. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> what, Lucy? 
I'm having the hardest time finding a picture of them. Okay, that's good. That means editing this will be easier. <laughs> no, <laughs> you just throw a picture Brian, on the Brian, you lazy screen. shit. I am that lazy. <laughs> Brian, okay, you just well, pull well, out a post it, you make a note, you run out of time, you fail the mission, and you do it again. <laughs> Now, now I'm waiting for a distress signal to be called. I have to wait until the timer, uh, and I have to survive until then. So it's gone now, so I can move on with my life. <laughs> oh, shut up, phone. <laughs> which, which I don't get, because, like, we're waiting for them to, you know, send a distress signal. But we're all talking to each other. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, the, 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 the communication seems pretty open. <laughs> Why and all again, the distress that's another thing about comms. Every general can hear every other general. <laughs> um, isn't that, like, not good? It's if, less if than ideal. Literally everything everybody else is planning and vice versa. I'm just, I'm a little confused. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Brian, it's used exclusively for shit-talking. <laughs> oh, yeah, my mistake. That's, uh, that's required. That's that's another that's another sect of electronic warfare that isn't usually talked about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the shit radio com. It's especially hard when there's a language barrier. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I everybody found, speaks This is English. the best thing I could find. You have to look you have to look in the background. Into what am I looking for? <laughs> the vehicles and how much shit is on them. Alright, let's see it. Alright. Um, no. alright. I see a lot of angles. Yeah, that's um, rendered in in the game, all those angles. It's a lot of <laughs> angles. It's very pointy. Also, yeah, are these uh, space now I'm gonna orcs... show you what that I'm gonna show you what that used to look like. Is this is this Warhammer? Uh, I thought you said this was no. Halo. <laughs> that is Halo. I, I'm pretty sure these are like space marines. But uh, orcs. I mean, what, Ariel there... Ariel. Aerial, that's Halo. Are you sure? Yes. Space Halo Marines, but orcs. <laughs> yes. Anyway, here's what that thing in the background used to look like. Oh no, Brian, you gotta put in two pictures. I hope you're taking uh, notes. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> I feel like you shared this picture before, and I made some joke about it. Yeah, I probably have, but I needed to share it again just to make this point. It's still kind of silly looking. I, I'm not saying it's not silly looking, but holy shit. It's like someone just like, I'm going to fucking take all the armor from the tanks, and I'm going to put nail it on top of the scarab. <laughs> Brian, you're capturing oil fields. I know. That's the point. Gotta have oil to fuel my, um, my, my, my shit, right? Yeah, we're not in the future. We're not green yet. I mean, we're wearing green. Brian, we don't have to be green. Oil oil is an infinite resource, don't you know? Uh, oh, yeah, my mistake. I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> forgot basic science. You know that the dinosaurs just keep dying continuously for eternity and underground in the secret mines. <laughs> I knew it. But my head okay. cannon was true. <laughs> Is okay because well the Earth is flat, which means it just keeps going on infinitely. <laughs> so will there always hey, be more dinosaurs? QED. <laughs> Brian, remember, pe pe people who believe the world is flat exist around the globe. I know. I was making fun of them just now. <laughs> this has been a Pistolcom squad like, how'd that come of fake back? news. How did that come back into being? <laughs> Because Somebody the internet me. gives credence to ideas that normally the media would have snuffed out. For better and for worse. That is, um... <laughs> that's fucking sad, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's also why, you know what, actually no, I'm not even gonna bring it up just in case they show up. Austin probably has an idea, and if not, we'll talk about it in between parts. <laughs> Cause I don't wanna deal with them. <laughs> well, I mean, Ariel, we have a reach of what? 0. 0.75 viewers per video on average? <laughs> I think we're good. Yeah, Ariel, this isn't one of those Toho videos that people watch, okay? 
I know, but all it takes is one man. person. But Ariel, this is Battalion Wars. No, <laughs> oh, you're right. Nobody... Hey, you know what? I think I'm going to tell the thing I told Brian a while ago. So one day, I was watching Game Grumps and Space It Out. And I was like, you know, we kind of line up to the Game Grumps fairly well here. Brian is like Don't Dan. Because he just laughs at everything. And that's about it. <laughs> yep, he did it right there. I heard it. <laughs> Wolf is like uh, Brian because they just have a very dry way of talking and most of their commentary is just explaining things. Um, Chris is like Susie because I don't know, there's it's just something about how the things they say and the things they decide to comment on, they just line up. I decided I'm like Barry. Because he was making really stupid jokes during some of the playthroughs I was watching. I'm like, I would have made the same joke. <laughs> it was stupid, but I like it. My man! And then oh, Austin's not going to be say, happy. Please don't say I'm Aaron. You're kind of Aaron and Ross, if that makes you feel better. <laughs> because one, Aaron likes to shit on everything. And you literally just said you like to shit on things. Yeah, okay, but to be fair, I don't blame the game for my own mistake. No, 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 I will give I you that. And I don't call people who accidentally made a mistake on a walkthrough out on a video that thousands of people will see. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> uh, if, we, if, we, if we gain some power, it might corrupt us. I don't know, we want to be open to that. And then the other reason, the reason why you're Aaron and Ross... Is because, um, God damn it, Austin kind of sounds like God damn it, Ross, a little bit, <laughs> and also Ross is a little bit of a troll, so, you know, that that is that is my um dissertation on how we fit if we were the oh, game. You should, you should see me when I play any on multiplayer based game. <laughs> All I do is fuck with my team. <laughs> Actually, fun fact, way, way, way back when, uh, when I was playing way back the old school, and it's sad that you could probably call this old school at this point, Call of Duty World at War, um, <laughs> uh, uh, there was one match, and my team was about to win, so I just said, I'm not gonna fucking try, I'm just gonna take out my fucking, uh, Browning, a big ass fucking machine gun. I'm going to spin in a circle and shoot like a jackass. <laughs> and I got the final kill. <laughs> and something you guys don't know about, the final kill in Call of Duty, uh, it, 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 it shows it to everyone. It shows it in like a count five second, in a five second countdown. So everyone got to see me spin around in the middle of the battlefield like a jackass and steal one of my teammates' kills with a straight bullet. <laughs> did you have Did you have a chat on? Did you Did you hear people's reactions to that? Uh, no, I was in a, I was in party chat with my friend, so we couldn't hear the game. Hold on, they just met with Colonel Austin. <laughs> now, you see, I knew that that character was there. I've seen the name come up multiple times, but I didn't want to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I couldn't read it mostly last time. I forgot, and I played this game earlier today. Brian. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, let me guess. The four parts we need to record today, you recorded today. I recorded one of the parts. God oh. damn it, Brian! You know what? I changed my mind. Brian is Ross. <laughs> hey! I got it done! <laughs> yeah, Brian, you know what I did? I recorded the entirety of Rebirth 2 and Sonic Adventure Hero Side Story in a week. Yeah, you know what I did? <laughs> I was at work. Well, I mean, I, I, I did that too. on the weekend. <laughs> I don't get home playing, until six. And, and you know, I, I need to make time for important things like playing Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Brian, you need to make that. time. Like, that would have gotten views. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> hey, it's fine. I got it. I did it. Actually, and who I am I kidding? Have... Breath of the Wild's old dudes. That won't get any views anymore. Yeah. Until we, the we, DLC we comes out. 
Yeah. <laughs> and we can get some of them drip drip fed views. Unless we do something crazy, like um ride the Gans castle on the back of a Lionel. <laughs> Which I guess <laughs> You know what we should do a Breath of the Wild playthrough and just have it be like two parts. And it's just <laughs> us going straight to Ganon. I was kinda <laughs> just thinking that. <laughs> it's like what if we literally just went straight there? That's it. I mean, it would be so hard, though. <laughs> Probably. Challenge accepted. <laughs> but I'm just, oh, I saw an article today that was like, hey, every Zelda game from now on might be open world, and I'm like, please no. I, I like having games that. I can finish. <laughs> well, I mean, you no, can but finish the, Breath of the Wild. The main campaign isn't that long, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when there's too many side quests, I'm like, ooh, I gotta do this side quest. There's not I mean, a lot of side you know, quests, Ariel. I still haven't Ariel, finished Final Ariel, Fantasy all 15. Side, <laughs> Ariel, all the side shit in Breath of the Wild is mostly finding, like, random collectible items or going and hunting down all the little mini dun the shrines, which there's barely any actual side quests in that game. I'm just... I know the entire gaming industry is going towards open world, and I'm just... Open world <laughs> takes too much time, and I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. It is fair, like, um... I, 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 can, I can definitely appreciate that, because that's one of those things that can go on forever. <laughs> and, uh, just based on... Because it is, it is really easy to get distracted in the game. Not even from side quests, but just from, you know, seeing something shiny. Like five, fifty miles away, and I had to go to that. Oh, I can't take my horse up a mountain. You know what? Okay. I have to climb I, mountain. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay with games being open world, as long as uh, Ubisoft's not making it. Cause <laughs> there it is. Jesus fuck! All of the no, all of their open world games are just here's a huge fucking gigantic map, and here's a million collectibles in it. Go fucking find them, you jackass. <laughs> God. Like, you know what? Like, no, 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 uh, you know, anyone who's played Assassin's Creed 2 knows what I'm saying when I say fuck those feathers. <laughs> fuck all of the feathers. 